Rescue mission, day eight, and the first time since I started recording the series that I'm recording two days in one session. Yesterday, not a whole lot happened. I mean, we, we weren't able to get the doctor. I I got cold feet about getting uh, the headlamp, which is going to be interesting because I don't think I can afford it still. I spent a lot last episode. Oh, I can... <laughs> oh! I can afford it exactly. Okay. Let sure. I I was holding out just because of the the headlamps effect. Ooh, I can get a bunch of stuff. Just because of the headlamps effect in Pikmin 2, which I'll talk about that once we get into the cave. For now, we have a morning routine. Schnoz. You should have more for us than yesterday. Show me what you got. This communication sphere has fallen from its place, orbiting the planet. Notice, note how the brumpy surface was designed to maximize transition transmissions. A pity that it is no longer functioning. Hmm. Perhaps a blow with a large stick could <laughs> knock it back into orbit. Dirty mouth, clean it up with orbit. This clam-like sound generator is all natural. The purity of its percussive tone is irresistible. Clack, clack. Alien invasion? No, it's just an octopus. Or is it? There's something quite strange about this one. Could it be a new species, perhaps? Well, whatever this thing is, the way its adorable beady eyes stare unblinkingly at me, I'm almost certain it is communicating telepathically with me. What it is saying is not fit for this ent entry. But now I will stare at the moon. <laughs> A rare and precious boat. Wow, they actually know this is a boat. That does not float. It was once used to predict a village's future. If, by some miracle, the boat remained slightly buoyant in water, it meant that the village had the approval of the gods. Sadly, the boat's shoddy construction makes that seem like a rather out unlikely outcome. Do drop by. Or don't. I will stand here until the end of time. The eyeball-like pattern on its shell reminds me of my father's eyes staring at me after, right before he turned off the light in the lab in which I was designed. We dug him out immediately when he gave us that look. It makes it easy to imagine what an effective deterrent those staring eyes must be to natural predators like birds or his own creations that also like birds. We don't wake up every day feeling as good as we want to, but the bright, fruity color of this little charmer sure makes me feel like I got my vitamins for the day. You might be able to loosen up your stiff muscles with this Dweevil's therapeutic electric shocks as well. This scuttling little one is a good luck talisman you'd be happy to encounter. If you're fortunate enough to come upon one, make a wish before it leaves. The way its iridescent carapace changes color depending on the angle you view it from is so distracting that I often forget to wish for something. The cheeky mittide lays its eggs inside the eggs of other creatures to provide its offspring with an easy first meal. When they come wriggling and squiggling out, it's spine chilling. But you can't blame the newly hatched larva. After all, you might enjoy an egg or two yourself now and then. That is horrifying. Um, they made me, they managed to make me hate these even more. Ah, uh, we'll read both spectralids. It's fine. In the same way it stops in a petal when flitting around a garden full of flowers in bloom, it will alight without hesitation on things like a sleeping bulb orb. What an audacious little daredevil. After flitting around all over the place, the wing, wing beats of a little spectral lid will cause a tornado on the other side of the world. Or some would have, some have said, What I wonder is how much influence did these little charmers have on our being on this planet right now? I can't wait till we get to the later entries. I mean, lo look at some of those. It's, it's gonna get exciting, and I can't mouse over them because <laughs> then they would not be new. You know... That's so little happened yesterday. That's all I got for the the camp segment of the episode, which is sad because I really like the camp segments. We're going right back. Salty run back to the blossoming Arcadia. And I honestly have a bad feeling about this. 
There's, since I started recording again, I, I like to push the envelope with my recording sessions and push past when I feel comfortable. And while I've only been recording for 40 minutes, the last episode really wasn't that long, I do worry. This is the first episode where I've recorded two days in the single in one recording session. And that might end up meaning that I'm pushing my luck here. Uh, okay, I have I have a couple things I want to do before I go into that cave. Uh, we kind of, in fact, you know what? Let's make this a uh, yellow. That's not what I want. Still getting used to this menu. Okay, the first thing I think we're gonna do is we are going to go to that other base and clear that out a little bit. There is a cave we can go into, but really my goal is. <sighs> Who am I kidding? We're going to the cave. That's exactly what's happening. Right now, we're going to the cave because I want to move the base, and there really isn't much of a reason for the base to be here anymore. So let's let's grab that that cloaking baronet. Let's grab these. Raise our numbers a little bit before I do have to go into the into the cave. Just to just to loot everything that I can possibly loot out of this. Um, also, I don't have that many ice pikmin, so if I lose any in the cave then I, I want to, I don't want to have to spend a ton of time regaining them. Uh, in fact, Ochi, uh, do me a favor. Go to base. And I will switch to you. And you're going to, you're going to grab these. Wow, you guys take forever. Please take that down. We're just kind of clearing shop, clearing house a little bit before... Before we do this. Because that whole that area over there is a whole other thing. I probably shouldn't have explored it yesterday. It ended up going a bit too far. And my Dendori suffered because of it. Okay. Now, we're going inside. <sighs> Let's do it. Recommended. Two kinds of Pikmin, so it's saying we should take an even number of them. I... I don't entirely agree. So I'm going to take 35, 25. The Sightless Passage. Sublevel 1. We finally have our upgrade. We have the lamp. Which initial- and there's a captain right ahead. Yes, it was. If Olimar's telling me I need to bring a headlamp, then I need to bring a headlamp. Hmm, there must be a castaway nearby. Ah, water dumples. Ochi. As with every new enemy, I'd like to gauge how strong it is. Not very. Kill him. About as strong as a bullworm. The one key difference, though, is that you can't insta-kill them by throwing a Pikmin on top of them like you can with, with dwarf red bulborbs. This is... This is bringing back some... Okay, that can't just move like that. That's not what I want to see. Because now I don't trust it. Can you go that far, Ochi? You can. Nice. Nice job, dog. Is that a... Oh, that's just a geyser. Oh, they look a little bit different in this game. I like that. This is bringing back some... Some memories. Some memories of Pikmin 2. And just a lot of the... The caves in that game are scary. And that's actually part of the reason why I didn't grab the headlamp at first. What game is that? Oh, wait. I can't believe I got one up there. What game is that? Is that Oracle of... Oh, no. What, what is that? Is that a Sonic game? I actually cannot tell. Okay, why did this move? Why is that moving? That's not okay. Oh. Okay. I wonder if they're ever going to throw that at me where the, the brush isn't safe. Also, this is why I took the at more reds in. Rewarded. Oh, yeah, uh, Pikmin 2. 
Pikmin 2's caves are something else. The, the stuff that they throw at you, which has- I've already seen that this game isn't afraid of throwing stupid things, like dumb traps at you. It- it makes you start to mistrust everything, and it honestly creates a great sense of unease. Nano beetles. Don't trust this. Is it fine? It's fine. And that's part of the reason why I'm not a huge fan of the, uh, of the, the headlamp, or, uh, I forget what it's called. The, um, solar system, I think it's called, in, in Pikmin 2. Uh, because it, it makes every cave now suddenly feel like it's above ground, and it just kind of ruins the, the feeling of exploration you have. Also, I love the little sparkle, the little shine that the, the anode beetles give now. As a kid, I had a name for these guys. These are actually one of my favorite enemies in the Pikmin franchise. Uh, just because of how they don't really, they don't mean you any harm. They're just trying to connect with each other. Uh, I always interpreted it as a kid, although it looks like he might have been able to cause harm. Can I not get... Can I not make this a base? Maybe I have to clear the enemy. I probably have to clear, yeah, I have to clear the enemies out first. I, I called them, these guys, love bugs. Because they're docile on their own, they won't do anything to your Pikmin, and they need another, another Anno Beetle in their life. I don't really, I don't really want to just blindly charge into that. Okay, you go ahead. Okay, we're fine. I wonder if we're going to get the ability to lower those bars. Like, we did once, and then it didn't feel like it never happened again. There's going to be an enemy revealed by these... These glow caps. Oh. Okay, but are you guys a trap? And is there a mid-type that harms me? That's a good question. Considering their def desecrated scare leaves now, I would not be surprised if there was a an evil Mittite. More evil than than these guys. You swarm that. You swarm that. Get some raw materials because we're dastardly low. I need to start not passing up on on raw materials anymore. It's just uh, there's so many things going on. There's so many things I need to I need to upgrade that I, I just can't pass up on it anymore. The exp I, and kudos to the game designers. I, I like it when you can't get everything you want. Like, I hate to use Ocarina of Time as an example because I feel like it's gotten enough flack for this. Like, this is Ocarina of Time's... Outside of a, cer a couple dungeons people don't like, uh, this is really its biggest objective flaw. Were there Pikmin here? No is Okay, we're good. It's its biggest objective flaw is probably its its management of money. Okay, Ochi, you're fireproof now. So, you hit him. Bait out an attack and then I'll finish him off. Uh I think in Ocarina of Time, correct me if I'm wrong. I I guarantee you that Somebody in the comments will be more knowledgeable about this than me, which is impressive, considering I have played Ocarina of Time probably more than... Almost any other game besides Luigi's Mansion 1. I played that game... And probably Pikmin 1. Those are probably my most played through games, just because Ocarina of Time came out with the 3DS, and there really wasn't much on the 3DS for the first couple years of its lifetime, so I just kept playing Ocarina of Time, glitching it out, bugging it out, having a blast with it. And then, oh yeah, I was, I was, let's let's not go on that rant right now. Let's talk about the flaw with Ocarina of Time. Money management. I'm pretty sure you only need 30 rupees to beat that game. Because at the very beginning of the game, you're supposed to buy a shield. And uh, later on, you're supposed to buy another shield, the Hylian shield. But it you can get one for free. So it just, it, it actually doesn't, it actually doesn't matter. Like money is not a factor in that game. That is a you. Uh, yeah, let's wait for this. Why is there a cutscene? Oh, it's because it's over 4,000. I did that same exact thing last time. 
I was like, why is there a cutscene? Is it an upgrade? Fantastic, we accomplished our goal. With so much energy collected, we can really expand the radar search area. I like to imagine that the energy is within the ship all along, but it's behind a paywall. And you have to, yeah, there are microtransactions or you can't use it. I think that's really funny to me. That's really pretty. This area is so pretty. Uh, can I go? I really wish I could go into first person because there are going to be some great thumbnails here. Oh, that heals Ochi? Why have I not realized that? I think it's happened a couple times off screen. I just never really paid it any mind. Okay, this guy. Um... Realistically, I kind of want everybody balled up. Because I'm not going to be swarming him. Oh, he's electric. Oh. Interesting. No, no, no! That's how I lose a Pikmin? Really? I knew. I knew it was a mistake to do this. I knew it was a mistake. You know what? Die. 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 That was... I was gonna compliment you too. Oh, that's not what I want. I was gonna compliment him as well. And then my Pikmin had to get stuck on him. I'm not gonna blame the Pikmin. I mean, it was my fault. I should have I should have maneuvered better, but well, <laughs> maybe this can be a one Pikmin death run. That's that's dumb. Can I enter? Oh, sure, I'll enter that. What? Oh, huh? Um, take that back. You're massive overkill. Man, I can't... I can't believe I lost Pikmin to that. I was legitimately about to... My, I was gonna give out... I was about to give this thing the highest honor I can really give an enemy. I was gonna say he reminded me of Okami with the, um... The... The demon mirror enemies that were different, uh, different elements. And then he had to kill. By accident, no less. He wasn't even really trying to. Well, there's... I, I mean, I, I said it. I said it. The, my first Pikmin lost is going to be for a very stupid reason, and that's about as stupid as you can get, honestly. It's about as dumb as you can possibly get. Uh, you guys... Can you get that, please? Maybe? Really? You can't fly high enough? Oh, wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? Knock him down. Get that. Let's clear this. That's just the way back up? Okay. That's strange. We can't go further down? Really? Or is that just a way for us to cut our losses? Maybe that's it. Also, our first captain in a while that is an actual captain. Petunia. Highly focused and intelligent, she joined the team to investigate mysterious creatures through her unconventional methods. Another Ooh. creature researcher? Huh. All right, well, bets are off. I can I can start swing my weight around a little bit. I lost Pikmin incidentally, so from here on out, I don't really mind if I lose Pikmin. At this point, it's my Dandori is the only way with which I can impress you, the viewer. Is this a, where I have? Have I been here? I don't think I have. Or is this where I, s this is where I, s this is where I started. This is where I started. And ultimately, I mean, I, I was kind of doing it for you guys. I, I, a lot of stuff I do for you guys. I, ew, I, <coughs> I, ca I consider myself a vain person and a lot of what I do, I'm trying to break this habit, which it, I'm recording, which is not a great way to break my habit. But if you were watching my... If you were watching my Tears of the Kingdom LP, you would know that when I started, I was like, I don't care if this doesn't get any views. I'm doing this for me, not... And no one else. So, <laughs> I, I, I'm 
kind of a vain person normally, and I have the, the I guess, fallacy that if someone doesn't witness something or experience something with me, there's no point in it. Um, which isn't a great... How do I get through this? Oh, my word. Don't. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything about what just happened. Don't do it. I don't... I don't want to hear it. Uh, have we... Have we searched this? I guess we have. I guess I'm just looking for additional meaning. I was really hoping they'd lock on everything, but that works too. Now we'll get some more tre Wait, no, there's more treasure in here. Hold up. There is more treasure. And where is it? Did I take a wrong turn? Is it that? Maybe it's that. I don't really want to cut in here, but I think I will. Oh. Oh. When, when, how, and why did that happen? I have no recollection of that. Uh, neat. What's the temperature? I actually cannot read it, but there is a reading on there. All right, well, uh, neat. We did it. We did it. And I'll try not to be tilted. What was I talking about? Was I talking about Ocarina of Time? I think I went on a long-winded rant, which, go figure for me, right? On, uh, on Ocarina of Time, and it ended with me- Oh, I went the wrong way. And it, it ended with me basically saying that this game has a good economy, and... And that's it. Alright. Let's leave. Petunia! A bunch of treasure! And one Pikmin lost.